guys how are you hope you're doing well welcome back to another video another book video i know it's been so so long since i filmed a reading vlog or a book video or anything like this but i literally plan to film like three this week so buckle up book videos are on the way i promise i promise i promise welcome to another reading vlog this is going to be like reading with me for a week i'm literally just going to read how i would normally read basically i've been really like diving into new genres lately i feel like the books that i got and the books that i just kind of explored while i was in korea really inspired me to read some new genres so I've been really looking into new genres and new authors and new just different books that I don't really have on my TBR but I haven't been buying any of them yet because I still have so many books on my TBR like on my physical TBR on my Kindle unlimited TBR like just so many books that I need to read so we're gonna read for a week I'm just gonna try to get through some of these books because I need to and you guys already know that I'm going to film my bookstore video and a huge haul for fall so I need to get through some of these books on my TBR before we get to that because when I tell you that's gonna be a haul like that's gonna be a haul but let me tell you what I'm in the middle of reading right now please hold let me gather my things get my life together so the first book that i'm in the middle of reading is little white lies by jennifer lynn barnes now we do need to talk about miss jennifer lynn barnes as you guys know she is one of my all-time favorite authors because the inheritance games is my all-time favorite series i know the brothers hawthorne is out the next book or the spin-off that's out it's right here i have the slip cover off of it i am reading it but i am filming a separate reading vlog for that it started i'm i'm in the middle of filming it i'm just reading this when i want to and when i can but anyways the other reason that i'm taking my time with that is because before that came out i was missing jennifer lynn barton's writing and just her writing style so i started to read little white lies which is a different series that she's written and i'm actually really loving it and i felt like it wasn't fair for me to just like shelf this and go like full into Brothers Hawthorne because this is just this is good and I'm enjoying it but I've been reading it on my Kindle it was just easier I only traveled with my Kindle this summer so I've I have a ton of books that were on my physical TBR that I'm reading on my Kindle so it's a whole thing so that's one of the books that we're in the middle of reading and that's one of the books that I'm gonna be reading today but last night I got the sudden urge to start this book that I got while I was in Seoul. If you're curious what this is about, I talked about it in my bookstore vlog from Seoul, Korea. So if you haven't watched that, go watch it. It's one of my favorite videos that I've ever made and posted. So go watch that if you haven't already. But this is basically this woman, the author. It's basically her um, personal story with her mental health struggles, anxiety, depression. It's basically her conversations between her and her psychiatrist. And it's really, really interesting. I'm really, really enjoying it. Last night I started it and I only got 26 pages in but I felt like I read so much because this is just such an open and honest story it's just so interesting to basically read someone's therapy sessions essentially and so I'm gonna be going back and forth between that and Little White Lies the goal first is to finish those two books in this reading vlog and then I have some other books on my TBR that I need to get through there's also a book that I DNF'd I kind of want to give it another try I kind of want to give it another shot but hopefully we get to that um, I think that'll be the book that we get to after these two so stay tuned for that welcome to another reading vlog I know it's been so long since I talked about books I hope you guys are excited to watch this I'm really excited to film it and yeah let's read some books posting a reel to instagram right now but guys remember how i said that i listen to like rain ambiance and everything on youtube when i'm reading it's literally thundering right now i think it's about to like downpour so i'm just gonna work on some stuff until it actually does start raining until i can hear the rain and then i'm gonna read oh i'm so excited it's like best case scenario right now Hi guys, 
guys so it is the next day and it's nighttime again <laughs> i have not had time to read today um i've just been so busy finalizing so many designs sending so many samples to manufacturers it's is a big thing but i've been thinking about my books all day so i'm going to read a little bit tonight let me go check what time it is right now <laughs> so it's 12 14 right now a little bit of a late start but i am a night owl so i will probably be up tonight i think i read like a little over 20 pages maybe like 25 pages and i wanted to have it i want to eat so bookie yesterday and i started to read a little bit of little white lies and that book is actually getting really really good it's so interesting but you can tell it just has that jennifer lynn barnes writing like that humor that like thrill and excitement and almost adrenaline while you read like that is just so Jennifer Lynn Barnes, why I love her book so much, and I'm having so much fun reading a different series of hers. I have no idea though where Little White Lies is gonna go. I know she's like, ultimately, this isn't a spoiler, ultimately she's trying to figure out who her father is because her and her mother have been estranged from her family that she is now back into their world, um, or should I say into their world for the first time. And they all have all known about her, but she hasn't really known like the truth really about them. And they come from a lot of money, again, kind of similar. I guess that's kind of the similarities to the inheritance schemes. You have a main character who comes from literally like no money and gets thrown into this world of wealth, which is always such an interesting um, plot point I feel like to read. And I feel like Jennifer Lombard just really depicts both worlds and both at both ends of the spectrum so well so that's pretty much where it's at but there's also like a little twist with her like cousin that's like relatively close to her age I'm interested to see because they've introduced a few side characters and I'm interested to see like what kind of role they play if they play any role at all so I just love her writing oh I just love her writing so much oh I can't get enough but let me shut up and start to read because girl like why are you talking so much it's already 12 30 you know like get to the business let's get to the nitty gritty we're here to read anyways I finished Little White Lies. I finished it last night. It really picked up at the end, so it was a lot of fun to read. Um, but I'm gonna give final thoughts on all of our books at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, we're gonna be moving on to a book that I actually DNF'd the last time that I was reading it, and I feel like it just DNF'd it for a number of reasons. I can like explain it all at the end when I like give my opinion on it. The book that we're moving on to is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. <sighs> I DNF'd this a while ago, you guys, but I remember exactly where I left off, and I do remember what happened up until then, so we're gonna get into this. Hopefully we can have a change of heart and yeah, hopefully we can finish this up soon so that I can finish up this video for you guys and get it up for this week. But yeah, Magnolia Parks. Let's see what she's all about. Let's try to finish it. Why not? <laughs>
Okay guys, so we're at the end of this vlog. It's been a week since I started and we finished two of our books. I didn't finish this one, but we're gonna talk about them all right now. So let's get into it. Starting with, I want to die, but I want to eat topoki. I did not finish this one because I just, honestly, I just want to take my time with it. I didn't really want to rush it. I feel like this is the kind of book where when I need to, when I'm in the mood for it, I'm gonna pick it up and keep reading it. But so far, so good. I honestly am just in awe of this author's realness and how she is so open and honest and real about her experience. Mental health and depression, anxiety, all those things. Um, it's not an easy thing to write about. So I am loving this, but I'm taking my time with it. So I'll update probably in a future video when I do eventually finish this, but so far it's really, really good and I'm loving it. After that, we read Little White Lies and you guys know I love Miss Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I started reading this because I missed her writing and it didn't disappoint. It really didn't. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm going to rate this. I was thinking maybe like a 3.5 or a 4. I really liked it, but it was really difficult to not compare this to the inheritance games because there were some similarities just in terms of wealth and that whole sort of like world of just like crazy money, but I really liked it and it was different. I just, I can't give it a 5 or anything too, too high because I just didn't connect with the characters as much as I did with the inheritance games and it was like that is just really like that and also the like environment descriptions of the inheritance games is truly what makes it five five plus series for me but I adore Jennifer Lynn Barnes and I will literally read her grocery list so this is a duology I believe I believe there's another book and I think I will eventually read it um but I'm not like dying to know what happens yet so eventually I'll probably miss her writing again and pick up the second one but basically this is just like a girl she's raised by her mom she turns 18 she's never heard from her mom's family ever she doesn't know who her dad is and when she turns 18 her grandmother pays her a visit and basically gives her an offer to come and stay with her and if she stays for I think nine months she'll pay for her college tuition which is something that she really really wants to do for herself go to college and she has no idea how else she would be able to afford it and her grandmother comes from crazy wealth crazy um society and debutante world um she asked her to be a deb i think that's one of the things that like she has to do in order to get her college paid for that sort of thing whole thing plays out um i guess it is sort of like found family but like legitimate family so it's not really i don't know it was a little tough to keep up with who the characters were and that might have just been me like the headspace I'm in reading this like I might just not be 100% but I really did enjoy it and it still had Jennifer Lynn's like classic it had her humor it had her like development of plot and her crazy twists at the end it definitely had all of that which is why I still recommend it and I love it but you guys know how I feel about the inheritance game so it's always going to be difficult to read something that's somewhat similar but not that you know but this was before she wrote that so I can definitely see how like this was like before she wrote the inheritance games and then when she wrote the inheritance games the inheritance games I can see how like her writing just fully developed and how she just like really loved that story and like gave it her all but this was great and if you love Jennifer Lynn Barnes I highly recommend reading this I really I enjoyed it and the end was like crazy like I couldn't even call it I thought I had the whole thing down like I thought I knew everything and I didn't so love <sighs> last but not least we read magnolia parks or should i say we finished magnolia parks because this is a book that i dnf'd months ago i told you guys i would explain why i think i dnf'd it at the time i thought i like it was just like i was like oh, i'm just like, not feeling this like very toxic um but I think at the time, honestly, I think like I just in terms of like relationships, like I think I was just not in the headspace to be reading a book like this. I'm definitely in like a much better headspace and totally like, like we're chilling, we're totally fine right now. So I decided to pick this back up because I really wanted to see like what all the rage was. Like I honestly, I just had to know because I feel like I can't like voice my opinion on a book if I haven't read the whole thing. And some of my friends and some of my favorite People on booktube and everything have highly highly recommended this and some people have been like eh, it was alright So I was really curious to see where I fell on that scale what I'm gonna rate this I Okay, am I like over the moon in love with BJ and Magnolia? No, I no. sorry. No 
I'm not I don't the whole time I was like I don't get it like I don't I don't understand it what's the what's the big deal honestly I loved Tom which is like the other guy <laughs> in the story that she ends up you know whatever that she is involved with let's put it that way I was appreciative that like the ending was what it was because if it wasn't I would have had some other words for this book um there was times like like look like I tabbed you know like I had things to say and there was times where I was like <laughs> you know like I was like okay like that was cute whatever like literally whatever basically what this is is it's two people that have known each other that have known each other since they were literal kids and they literally cannot leave each other alone like they literally will get involved with other people but still see each other still talk to each other still be in love basically for me I was like just kind of like ugh. like if you're reading this and you're like romanticizing it please stop I'm telling you right now babe no honestly read it get to the end and know that that will be the ending every single time babe so don't even think don't just don't there is the whole aspect of the fact that this people say this gives like very gossip girl vibes i think i talked about this already but as somebody who is a really 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 big gg gossip girl fan stan dare i say like truly gossip girl through and through it's my comfort show i'm telling you right now it 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 I could see the similarities, but like the way people gas it, I was like, but it's just not giving the same way. Probably because like, it was like, it was basically like if, if Blair just got her own show, I guess. Oh, I, I can't because it's a spoiler, but like, oh, I just couldn't believe at the end. Like I was like, you're joking, whatever. I, I think I'm gonna rate this a three. I'll just put it that way. I think I'm gonna rate this a three. It wasn't the worst book I ever read. I finished it. I honestly blew through it. Once I started to read again, I flew through this book in like a day and a half. But I'm gonna give it a three. Read it if you want. So am I gonna read the rest of the series? I'm not in a rush to. Maybe. But like, you know, it was fine. It was fine. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm finally back with another reading vlog. Thank you guys for waiting as long as you have for me to upload another one of these. I love you all very much. Take care of yourself as best as you can and I'll see you in the next one.